Can I have a, a concluding thought from each of you um, on 2024 then? Uh, ladies first. Anna, what do you think? What are your hopes? What, what, and what do you think might actually happen in 2024? I actually would really hope and, and again, hope that uh, there is some kind of correction in the government and this situation actually turns a turn for the better and people learning from the past mistakes and making positive changes. Yep. So that's the hope that I have for 2024. When it comes to immigration, uh, like you've been saying, I think Portugal is still a very interesting place and still going to keep being very high rated on the list of places to move. And uh, it would be really, really nice if the political situation just followed things in that way. That's no guarantee of that. But it would be my hope for 2024. Brilliant. Thank you for that, Anna. Bobby? Thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you've done incredibly well, considering you were up partying until five this morning. More of that. I don't think I could do it. Like, I, I think actually functioning. it's going to be... Um, I think it's going to be a bustling year for for business and for immigration and for investment and so on. I really do like I've got my own sort of business plan for next year is I have a lot of travel on which I haven't done in a couple of years actually. Um is basically going back to where I used to go. Um but I think we have a lot of exciting um opportunities for people. Um and basically bring more investment into Portugal. But um yeah, hopefully, like like Anna said, I hope that the political situation stabilizes and um, let's say gets more productive, and the CEF alternatives uh, start to get a bit, bit better and so on and so forth. Because um, it's been a disaster for ten years, um, so hopefully they can fix that. That's what I'd wish to happen is that if they can fix the the immigration side of it, as in the paperwork and so on, to make yeah. life a lot easier for people who are actually moving here or investing here. Well, we can keep hoping and we can keep having these conversations uh, and you never know, do you? And I'm with you on this. I think it is going to be a very exciting year because it, it seems interesting, doesn't it, to me that the, the politicians, you know, wittingly or unwittingly, <laughs> seem to do their best to ruin things. But you can't stop the movement of people, can you? And the wishes of people. It's overwhelming, isn't it? And I, I, I think you're right with that. Is The attractiveness of Portugal is so great that despite the government making certain decisions that don't look very advantageous for the future of the country, they're going to be overwhelmed by popular demand because that's yeah. a much bigger force, isn't it? And it has been, uh, certainly no, for, for sure. the last few years. Yep. No, for sure. Uh, thank you very much to both of you. Um, the lies we tell our kids then, in conclusion, if you touch a uh, frog, you'll get wars. Do they say that in Portuguese as well, Anna? Um, I, I no. Huge but, uh... We do have some, but right now I can't remember any. I'm trying to remember things I was told on my childhood. What about this? I must not remember the whole you have to eat your plate otherwise because of the starving people in Africa. That's yeah, uh, that that's was right. a, I think smart. that's a general one. <laughs> it is, it is, yeah. Um, and, and and smart kids used to say, well, they can have it. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll wrap it up and send it over. Uh, when I was your age, I never skipped class. Oh, yeah, that would be a lie I would be telling. <laughs> <laughs> quite, quite frankly, you too, Bobby. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and you, Anna? I'm not sure. You don't have to say. You don't have to say. Those dad jokes, they're very good. Uh, you talked about Black Friday before, Anna. What comes after Black Friday? Black Sabbath, of course. <laughs> oh, sorry, I agree Bobby. with that. <laughs> yeah. If, you're, if your head's a bit sore, sorry about the rim shots. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this, is a bit, this is a bit creepy, this one. I went for a walk with a girl yesterday. When she noticed me, we went for a run. That's <laughs> awful. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little laughing. It's terrible, isn't it? Um, and um, I was in an 80s band called Prevention. It was better than The Cure. <laughs> That's good. That's a very good note to end on at 10 o'clock. Have a great holiday, everybody. Restoration Day. We didn't even talk about kicking the Spaniards out this morning, but a good reason, <laughs> a good reason to keep partying today. Have a great Friday. Have a great holiday. Have a great weekend, whatever you're doing. And welcome to the true festive season on this, the 1st of December.